Do you ever struggle getting your weight to the lead side? Did you know that getting it there early is a hallmark of a great golf swing? In today's video, we're gonna go through some details and some analytics we have with these force plates that are gonna help you understand how to get that pressure moving left early in the swing to help you have better contact. So in this video, we're gonna dive really deep into that lateral force or one of the first forces in the kinetic sequence. Now, I've actually collected a swing of Nate's and when I look at the lateral force, what I'm looking at is the timing of this force, the magnitude of the force, and also uh, the point of application of the force or where you're pushing on the ground. And so if I do dive specifically into this lateral force and I'm looking at the red line, I want this force to actually peak on the backswing, right? And mm -hmm. as we look at this, Nate, we can see that you actually peak this force as your arms parallel on the downswing. Mm -hmm. I want it to be around transition because that's actually going to allow you to create that nice shift. If we do this, we're gonna get that late shift and then everything's gonna be late, right? Your rotational torques are gonna to be late or that vertical torque's gonna to be late and your vertical forces are gonna be late as well. Okay, the other thing I wanna look at is the magnitude. Now you're producing about 16% of your body weight. I want that number to be at least 20, at okay. least 20. So I would say that it's late and it's low. Now, the idea is, well, why is that occurring? And so I love to look at this little trace of your foot right here, mm -hmm. right? Because on this one, I can actually jump right into it, and I'm looking at this red dot. And the place I want that red dot to be is I want it to be on the inside of your foot. Mm -hmm. And you have it on the outside of your foot, basically throughout the entire swing, mm -hmm. okay? So I want you as a player to really feel that force not going here to the outside of the foot, but really, really coming to the inside. So yeah, tell me what that feels like, right? If, I, if I'm keeping, I mean, I guess a good thing would be maybe having a ball or something, feeling like this is elevated. But if I stay inside, then I'm never going to be losing myself, you know, out of sequence, I guess. And, and a big part of that is when you think about where I want this ground reaction force vector to point, right? Let me use your club because mm -hmm. I think this depicts it. Right? I don't want it to just be up. I want it to be up and forward. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's turn this side here. We'll get a good view of it. So I want it to be up and forward. And the best way to do that is what you just described here, where if it almost feels like the outside of your foot like comes off the ground, mm -hmm. and you're trying to push as hard as you possibly can on the inside of that foot. Okay. Right? Yeah. That's kind of the feel we're looking at to really help that center of pressure go to the inside of the foot and even a little more towards the heel, whereas you're outside of the foot in the trail or outside the foot and more towards the ball, that makes it incredibly difficult to generate a large amount of lateral force earlier in the swing. Makes right? sense. So. Awesome. <laughs> Keep it on the inside of that right foot. Yep. Yeah, let's try one again. Really try and focus on, and I want, I want to do my very best to keep that on the inside of that foot, okay? So we're okay. gonna do the foot detection again, Nate. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna go heel to Start toe, heel to detection. toe. Start swing. Again, our goal is we're going to come up here and look at it. And interesting enough, Nate, like I know you're looking at this thinking, well, gosh, did I do what I was supposed to do? What do you think? Where's that, where's that going? I haven't seen it go right. You haven't it's, seen it go right, right? But, but it's still kind of forward. It's still a little bit forward. I would, I would rather see it a little bit closer to the heel, at least initially. Mm -hmm. But what I love about this is that that thing is not good. Before it went clear to that outside of the middle of your foot. Yeah. And now what we're getting is, man, we're getting that center of pressure of that trail foot yeah. to be more to the inside. It's staying to the inside throughout. So now let's pop in. And now all of a sudden we're seeing, now we're actually peaking, look where we're peaking that force, Yay. right? Now we're peaking that force way before lead arm parallel on yeah. the downswing. Yep. Again, I'd still like it to be a little more, this is your first time making that swing, right? It's, it's an incredible job in the first time. Thank you. And we're getting it up to 19%, right? It's climbing a little bit, but what I love there is just the timing of that force is much, much better as we've got that. So that's something that you can really practice, a feel you can start to groove a little bit. Um, some moves that you might do outside of a golf swing that I think would be good to think about it, and you even did this move when you were doing it, this is like that little bit of a lateral jump, yeah, jump yeah. right? A lateral skater type movement. Yeah. That could be a great thing you could incorporate into some of your exercises at home or some things you're doing where you're trying to really get on that foot and push yourself in a jump. Exactly, right? Yeah. 
because that's the fill we're getting, making sure that when you do that, you're sending that pressure to the inside of the foot and then getting that quick explosion forward. That's an excellent way to start to improve the way that you utilize the lateral force during the golf swing. Awesome. So if you don't have these force plates, if you can't put yourself on them every single time you do this, there are some cool cues that you can look for uh, to make sure or at least assess if this is something you may have a problem with. And there are kind of two main ones that I like to look for. Uh, you could even like stick a club or an alignment rod off there, something that you're looking for in a swing where if Nate starts to go backwards and you see his pelvis start to shift really far to that lateral side, there's probably a very good chance that he's not producing that lateral force early and large enough. And then the other thing I love to look at is this foot right there. That's something I see over and over again where that they'll roll to the outside of that foot. And when you roll to the outside of that foot, again, you've lost all of that ability to create that lateral force because I think it is impossible to have that force too early and too large because it's the first part of the kinetic sequence. It's going to set everything up for you. So these are some cool things you can look at on your own if you don't have the capacity to test on force plates. If you'd like to come into our facility and get a hands-on lesson with these state-of-the-art three-dimensional force plates, just click the link in the description below or on the iCard above. We'll take you to our website, give you all our contact details. We'd love to bring you in and give you a fantastic hands-on session so that you can become a better golfer.